Single back, Camaro with Winston. Pressure coming, Michael Walker. Drops Winston. Atlanta trying to get there. Jameis will go down for the third time in the half. You shall not pass. Hey, what's up, Falcons fans? I am DJ Shockley. Thank you for joining me for Falcons Film Review powered by Microsoft Surface. And I want to show you just how this Falcons pass rush has improved from one year to the next. You're talking about last season, only having 18 sacks. This year, you already have four. And I'm going to show you how they got home with just four in this particular play here. Now, up front, Walker Grady Jerry. Grady Jerry had a great day, had one and a half sacks. He's going to beat his guy with an overswim move. But the best thing about this particular rush is you're only rushing one, two, three, four guys. You think about trying to get home with more than four guys sometimes, or trying to get to the quarterback, you need pressure with more than four. But this time the Falcons get home with more than just four. The pressure from out here by Lorenzo Carter on the outside and Adi on the inside is a huge help to Grady in the middle. Play gets started, boom. Grady does a nice swim move. He's already beat his guy to the inside. Now that's important because the quarterback always wants to climb up in the pocket. When he can't climb up in the pocket, he looks to retreat from one side to another. But one thing the guys do a really good job of holding their edge. Do not lose containment. Now Grady wins up the middle. Now look at Lorenzo Carter. He has his edge secured. He got this edge secured. There's really nowhere to go. James Winston wants to retreat here first. Then he sees, oh, I have contained. Now he wants to retreat to the other side. And now here's Lorenzo Carter sitting for him. So now you got pressure from the middle. You got pressure from the edges. And now you got contained from this side. There is nowhere to go for the quarterback, and that's how you end up with a good sack. Nice job of four guys getting pressure and doing their individual job to get pressure on the quarterback. Comes up with a big time sack. All right, here's another example of the pass rush getting home with the second level defender in Michael Walker right here. Now, this particular play, here's Michael Walker sitting here. He's looking like he wants to blitz, but he's sitting on the edge. But the best thing here is the Saints actually push their offensive line to this side. So they, everybody's going this way because they think more pressure off to the side. You got Grady over here in the one, so he's more favored towards this eye. And you got the linebacker pushed over, and it looks like you may have pressure from this side, but Falcons gonna actually come from the other side. As the play gets started, and you see, now he steps up, and look at the offensive line. Everybody's going this way, thinking pressure is coming from this way. And because this guy was standing on the line, they thought he was most dangerous. But he actually dropped into coverage, and this is great disguise here. Now you got pressure off this side. Now you don't have anybody to block Michael Walker coming straight through here when they thought they had it picked up. Now this is scheme-wise. The Falcons out scheme the Saints to get home. And you see Michael Walker get home. There's nowhere for him to go to football because on the back end, the Falcons also play zone coverage. Look, they're playing cover three. So everybody's eyes is looking at the quarterback. So now he has nowhere to go with the football. And the speed of Michael Walker getting home is huge. And now you come up with another big time sack. Nice job of our scheme in the Saints. Nice job of using coverage on the back end as well to get the sack. This was a total team effort on the defense to get the sack on Jameis Winston. Let's jump into another play where it's extreme pressure. They go cover zero and all out blitz. Let's jump right into the play here. As you can see here, I want you to see what's happening. Look at all the Falcons communicating. Look at all the, the conversation going on. Guys talking, guys communicating. This is a big third down here. And the Falcons go cover zero. What cover zero means is no safety in the deep, and you got more guys coming than they can actually block. But I want to, want to focus on back here. Look at this. Look at AJ Terrell. Eyes are inside. He's looking inside at the, at the quarterback. So nice one inside leverage. He will not give up anything to the inside because that's the worst place to get beat versus cover zero. You got eyes on him. You got all these guys with eyes on the particular defender, and they do a good job of coming home. Now you got cover zero. You're bringing all guys, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven guys. They only have six guys to block up front. And because the pressure gets home, you use guys that are really fast. Now you get home, boom. Look at the speed of these guys coming through the middle, coming off the edge. Now you got contained on the outside as well. Now you look on the outside, where's he gonna go with this ball? Nobody is open. Everybody's got eyes on their particular receiver. Now he wants to throw the football, but because of the tight coverage, nowhere to go. Now you got speed coming through. And I love the way you call this third down here by DNP. Getting home, forcing the ball out of the hands of the quarterback really quickly. And that's an ideal pressure. Ball's out the hands. Now you have a fourth down. So a nice job of bringing pressure versus cover zero on third down, pushing the offense back. All right, this next big time pressure is the one that I love the most by DMPs and his defense. Let's jump right into what I'm talking about here. This is, looks similar to a play we already talked about. Look at all these guys at the line of scrimmage. 
who's coming, who's not coming. You have no idea if you're the Saints or you're the quarterback. What ends up happening, the Falcons only end up blitzing four guys and are able to get home and get pressure on the quarterback. So here, I'm going to show you who's actually going to bail. You got both linebackers going to bail, and now you have Michael Walker. He's actually going to bail as well. But here's the pressure. The pressure's coming off this side, and you would never think he's coming because he has three guys over here that you're worried about. But he ends up coming right off this edge here and getting the pressure on the snap of the ball. Now watch all these guys bail. Out, out, he's gone. Now you're only rushing one, two, one, two, three, four guys here, and you're playing coverage on the back end. Now what's so unique about this, the Falcons started this particular play where it looks like cover two. And now you rotate down, it looks like it's gonna be single high. But he's gonna go to cover two. This corner's gonna go all the way back to cover two. This outside linebacker is gonna play a cover two here. So they changed our whole coverage, and now because the Saints thought that more guys were coming. They blocked it wrong. So up front, as you start to play here, boom. This guard should have been here, but he saw him late just because he thought one of these linebackers were coming. So a great disguise on the back end. Now you get the pressure, and he has to climb up in the pocket. Nowhere for him to go. Third down, you get off the field, and he has to put the football in the hands of the Falcons. This is a great job of disguise, great job of guys being in the place where they're supposed to and disguising what it looks like on the back end. All 11 guys on one accord getting pressure on the quarterback. And this is why the Falcons were able to get four sacks against the New Orleans Saints.